Hi guys, I'm Jojo Astrobabi, Queen of Stars. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week the sun is in the sun of Virgo, so happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We love you, perfectionists of the zodiac. You're wondering why I am wearing my glasses, aren't you? I'll tell you shortly. The moon this week will travel in the signs of Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. And Thursday, we will have a very beautiful eclipse, new moon in the sign of Virgo, inviting us to put our attention on our health, wellness, healing, and also in our career and work. And it's time to make the right choices and to really make things the way it should be to be the best we can be in health and at work. Because Mercury is retrograding, this eclipse will be sort of mellow. It's not going to have a big, strong influence. And in the United States, you cannot see it. It will be seen in Africa, Madagascar, and also Antarctica. If your birthday falls near the eclipse, period, expect some positive, extraordinary changes and events coming your way in the coming year, all for the better. On Monday, a serious Venus in Virgo will enter a romantic Libra sign, highlighting more diplomacy, more civility in the political world, in the society in general, and it also gives good luck with legal systems, legal matters, and also it gives a boost to love relationships, the ability to see what's right for our love life, our romantic uh, dimension of our lives. Everything to do with art, music, fashion is very much favored in a very big way. This Sunday, well, it's a rainbow Sunday. After a crazy emotional week, we finally could relax because Mercury joining powerful Venus Jupiter couple adds sunshine to a very social life that is a lot of fun and we're gonna finally relax and just have fun. The big, big news this week is that Tuesday, Mercury will retrograde until the month of September 22nd. This week, the planets are also taking a totally new direction. Friday, Sun and Neptune and Saturn in a bad aspect can bring a little bit of confusion, maybe some scandals, and a little stress, but it's temporary. The best thing to do is to stay calm, do things slowly, to be cautious, prudent, understanding, and just to go with the flow. And especially to have integrity, to have honesty in everything we do. And if we do, everything is gonna be fine. So there goes, let me start with you. Happy birthday to you. We love you. So much stuff happening in your life. The new moon and eclipse and Mercury retrograde all in your sign give you food for thought. More than ever, you are determined to make your life a total success and also as you want it. You get things done this week, great time to really look at your situation of how you could improve the quality of your life, in your love life, in your career, in your health, and truly, truly this week make your strategies and push on your plans and also take care of obligations. Stand tall for what you believe in. Be the best you could be. And loving friends, co-workers could share very good ideas with you, so take the time to listen. Don't talk, listen, and on the weekend, ask, and you shall receive. You will be spoiled. Your magical color turquoise like in numbers four and 22. Libra, the new moon eclipse and Mercury retrograde in your spiritual sector and also Venus, your ruler entering your sign, bring you, wow, beauty, confidence, hope and optimism and also popularity. You have more free freedom of action, but also it's important to plan carefully. Don't spread yourself too thin. You can catch up with important work and career and publicity, legal issues, publishing, promoting your talents, creative projects, all favored by the stars. Pay attention to your dreams and spiritual values. What do you really believe in? Think about that this week. On the weekend, you attract many, many, many admirers. 
everywhere. If you're single, a lot of flirty, flirty. Have fun. Taurus Cancer, really care for you. Your magical color blue, lucky numbers 5 and 32. Ta da! Scorpio, the new moon eclipse in Mercury, retrograding in your social sector, bring you inspiration. You're very grounded. Your mind is clear of who you are, what you want. Trust your judgment and your hunches in career and finances. You're doing good in these aspects these days. An ideal time also to put things in order, take care of budget, and to close a deal. You feel more sure of yourself and eager to make your life a total extraordinary experience. Good for you. Go for it. The only way for you to do this is your way. People are very impressed by your perseverance and also your poetic ways of seeing things these days. So the weekend, take some time to recharge your batteries because a lot to do this coming month. Your magical color, Fuchsia, lucky number 6 and 33. Sagittarius, the new moon in eclipse and Mercury retrograding in your career sector slows things down a little bit and it's good. You have time to think, to reflect. A good time to also meditate on your future. What do you want to become in the next couple of years? People may change their minds in personal or professional matters. So it's important just to go, you know, listen to what they say and negotiate. Like I always say, anything is possible, everything negotiable. Dig deep for answers. Ask questions, especially in your love life. And let your imagination float, inspire you. Also, be patient this week with people around you because people can be a bit more sensitive than usual, especially your mate or some friends. The focus is very much on being true to yourself, kind to others, and to follow your heart. On the weekend, you get answers about your love life, your magical color, turquoise, lucky number 6 and 42. Capricorn, you feel confident. The new moon eclipse and Mercury retrograding in your karmic sector bring a high intuition, spiritual values, better energy, better health. You attract new exciting opportunities that could really rise up in career and in society. In love, you better understand your needs and are able to share your feelings with friends, you know, some members of the family. And if you're going to some necessary changes, like a separation or divorce, just follow through with it. Don't go back, just do it. More than ever, it's time to push on your dreams and reinvent your life in every possible way. On the weekend, share your good fortune with others. Your magical color is silver, lucky numbers, 8 and 44. Aquarius, Aquarius, the new moon eclipse and Mercury retrograding in your shared resources sector. Make you alert, altruistic. You have, you can make good deals with other people, especially in career. It's a very good time to finish what you start. Be confident. Have faith in yourself, in your potential, because you are amazing. Your creativity is high and just express all that juice of imagination you have in your heart right now. Remember that when there's a will, there's always a way. So no matter what the challenge is, you will overcome them this week, I promise you. This is an ideal time to clean up, get rid of the old, and get ready for a fresh start. On the weekend, a love surprise awaits exactly what you needed. Yay! Your magical color pink, like in numbers 3 and 21. Play lottery. Pisces, the new moon eclipse and Mercury retrograding in your relationship sector make you very popular, but a, a bit sensitive, emotional, but also very intuitive, and you're very creative. In personal life, it's all more smooth sailing. You know where you stand and you know what to do. At work, you feel very ambitious and daring. Go for it all and push on your dreams because success is guaranteed. Diplomacy and a big smile will go a long way all week long in all departments of your life. Smile, 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 Mona Lisa. Believe in miracles and they will happen in your life. If you don't believe, they won't happen, okay? On the weekend, loved ones will touch your heart in a very special way. Your magical color, violet, lucky number 7 and 25. Ta-da! Aries, the new moon eclipse and Mercury retrograding in your work sector make you assertive and eager to make your life a success. You want something new, you want some changes. And the eclipse and the new moon is going to push you that way. The week is sort of on a slow beat. 
but by Thursday you are plunged back into some kind of motion and action just the way you like. Be the master of your destiny. Look at the sun, not the clouds, in all aspects of your life, especially in love. At work you see things differently and it brings results. I like your new attitude, good for you. In love, go slowly, follow your hunches, and if you want to be with somebody, take the initiative, especially if you're a guy. If you're a girl, wear your skirt and let the guy take the initiative. On the weekend, get ready for tender moments. Your magical colors will share like in numbers 8 and 44. Ta-da! Taurus, this is a very inspiring week. The new moon eclipse and Mercury retrograde on your creative sector can put you in touch with friends and people you haven't seen for quite a long time. By phone or in person, you'll like it. At work you receive good news. Ask and you shall receive. The more daring you are, the more you take risks, the more you succeed. A good time to look at your finances, your investments with your partners, your relationships with the people you work, and it's time to maybe make a few concessions, give and take kind of attitude. You are moving in the right direction, one way or the other, just Go with common sense. Just go where there's integrity and love and kindness. On the weekend, you feel very appreciated by everyone. Your magical color orange, lucky numbers 9 and 45. Ta da! Gemini, the new moon eclipse in Mercury. Your ruler, retrograding in your home sector, bring you more clarity about your personal life, about your personal ambitions, where you're going in life. The focus is on partnerships, teamwork, and the ability to express your feelings to other people. Finish what you start. A project is moving in the right direction. Be proud of yourself. Anything to do with contracts, negotiation, investment, finding a new job, all the things you've invested in the last couple of months is finally paying off. You are getting the phone calls and the emails and the texts that you love it. Love is also brand new somehow. You feel hmm, more romantic, more close to people. If you're a bachelor, you definitely have to go out because flirting is in the stars. On the weekend, you should definitely meditate and maybe get a massage. Do something to make you happy. The magical color is green, like numbers 1 and 37. Play lottery. Cancers, the new moon eclipse and Mercury retrograding in your communication sector bring new visions, new ideas to make your life even better than it could ever be. You are now starting to know what you want and what you don't want and you're doing something about it. I love it. Mercury retrograding makes you sensitive to energy. Creativity is very high and you're also very psychic. So anything to do with show business, marketing, publicity, promoting your talents, creative projects, follow your gut. It will tell you what to do, how to do it, and with whom to do it. In career, many new doors open up just like a miracle. Wow! I'm telling you, there's a good luck on your way. Even with the eclipse and the new moon, it's sort of like the new moon pushes for a new beginning, and the eclipse allows you to see what you don't want, and it makes it clear what you want, and you're able to move forward with this. Just keep up an optimistic attitude. Make sure you look the best because the world is watching. On the weekend, you feel very, very loved and appreciated by everybody around you. And if you're single, you should go out. You could meet somebody special. Your magical color, orange, lucky numbers, two and 11. The Leo, the new moon eclipse, and Mercury retrograding in your financial sector make you quite wise, also sensitive, happy, and also caring. People love your very nice, positive attitude in career. Go with the flow, listen to other people. In public, play the humble card. The more understanding and generous you are with other people, the more you will be happy and succeed. On the weekend, get ready for gratitude and joy in your heart, mind, and body. Your magical color gold, like numbers three and 21. And now here's your wizard affirmation of this eclipse week, but it's a mellow eclipse. Cahill Gibran said, Our pain is the breaking of the shell that encloses our understanding. In life, everything happens for the better good. So just follow your heart, walk on the path of the heart, and everything is going to be always okay. Love you guys. Wear your glasses this week. It's Eclipse Week. Love you. Be good now.